everyone, and welcome to the first edition of the Spatial Web AI Podcast Knowledge Bank. I'm your host, Denise Holt, and today we will be diving into our first series titled The Spatial Web is Coming. Is Web 3.0 ready? The network of everything is coming. The economy of everything is at our doorstep. At the forefront of this transition is the convergence of new smart technology stacks merging AR, VR, AI, IoT, and distributed ledger innovation. Yet there is a huge elephant in the room. To date, there are many companies building amazing Web3 technologies and products with one glaring problem. These technologies, they're all disparate by design. They're not joined by a common language protocol. The metaverses, dApps, and other Web3 solutions that are being built at this moment, they're all siloed. Even protocol extensible user interface cradles like MetaMask, MyCrypto, Status, or Parity, they're all open source browser extension tools that are designed for individual blockchains. Cross-chain interoperability protocol is headed in the right direction, but at best, it's merely a bridge between blockchains and does not take into account that 99% of all data lives on databases, not blockchains. Real-world IoT devices do not have a common language to share data between various manufactured sensors for a seamless experience. A common user identity to be shared between all interactions, both virtual and real, does not yet exist. Most Web3 companies are building for enhanced Web2 experiences. They are not yet considering what is truly required for the implementation of a decentralized and fully networked Web3.0 world. The metaverse experience of the future requires that all entities, people, places, things, both real and digital, will need to be networked together, capable of being indexed, searchable, and accessible by anyone, anywhere, just like being able to search websites on Web2 Internet of today. Dan Mapes, president and co-founder of Versus AI and the director of the Spatial Web Foundation, describes it this way. Quote, in the future, you could go into a Web 3.0 metaverse to design and order a pair of custom sneakers. You receive both a real pair and a virtual pair that your avatar can wear. The sneaker metaverse then needs to communicate to the digital twin of the factory to produce the physical shoes. The factory needs to track the shoe through the supply chain and ultimately to the drone delivery to the customer. Later, the customer might receive tokens for recycling the shoes. Everything will be interoperable because everything will be running one protocol, HSTP, Hyperspace Transaction Protocol, just like the World Wide Web is now doing for web pages. This network of everything, this future spatial web browser experience, will include a vast amount of data. This feat of parsing through these enormous data sets and making sense of them will require the assistance of artificial intelligence on a grand scale. This unified, interoperable, and searchable network requires a common protocol, just as HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, is the internet protocol of Web 2. The spatial web requires its own unique protocol that takes into account a 3D immersive browser environment called the Hyperspace Transaction Protocol, HSTP. The web protocol we use today, HTTP, is designed to connect pages on computers with the goal of sharing information. Tomorrow's web protocol, HSTP, will connect smart spaces, including all data and entities, physical people, cities, buildings, objects, and their digital twins, creating a smarter world by adding context and intelligence to every encounter. It will facilitate the technologically augmented experience of our daily lives in real time. 
Decentralization will ensure trusted and secure interactions and transactions for trusted records and transfers of value. What we really need to be building toward is a blending of virtual and physical worlds using cognitive and distributed technologies. Undeniably, there are specific smart technologies that will be crucial to the architecture of this networked th Web 3.0 experience. For the sake of fast-tracking the growth and transition into this new spatial web protocol, it is critical that the companies building these new technologies are collaborating with each other during this next transition period, keeping interoperability top of mind. Special thanks to Dan Mapes, President and Co-Founder of Versus AI and Director of the Spatial Web Foundation, if you'd like to know more about the spatial web, I highly recommend a helpful introductory book written by Dan and his Versus co-founder, Gabriel Rene, titled The Spatial Web, with a dedication to all future generations. So this is part one of a four-part series titled The Spatial Web is Coming. Be sure to check out part two in this series to find out which smart technologies matter most in Web 3.0. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time.